Alrighty, guys and gals, what is going on, all you beautiful people? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am your host, Big E. This is World of Warcraft Classic, the Soul of Iron, Season of Mastery, all that good stuff. This is a custom hardcore challenge. Yes, it is. I'll toss the rules up on the screen right over there temporarily. You can review them if you'd like. Anyway, up on the screen here, this is Blackmane. This is Brother of Brutus. Sadly, he died at level nine because I took a chance and tried to kill a rare. And we got our Torin asses handed to us. Yes, we did. Anyway, we're going to check out of the end and we're going to get back to business. Yes, we are. I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Hope everyone's having a great day. I sure do. We're currently level 11 and we are damn close to level 12. Got a couple of quests we're going to work on. We're going to finish off these quests. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. What is this? You have an open ticket. Do I now? Oh, yes, I do have an open ticket. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. You guys want to take a survey? <laughs> I've got uh, some starter accounts, and I was having a hell of a time trying to uh, figure out how to remove them. Uh, um, and it's the only reason I was trying to remove them. I don't know if you guys have starter accounts or whatever, but on the Blizzard Battle.net app, every once in a while, it'll come up and it'll have like your alternate account. And I'm convinced they throw that in there so that Maybe you'll mess up and, oh, let me activate this or let me buy. You know, I think that's what that's all about. And it drives me a little bit crazy. It should just stick with my the account that I use all the time, but it doesn't. Anyway, they got two of them removed. I also had an EU account uh, when I was doing my uh, co-op Let's Play with Alpine Gaming. My good buddy, Josh Shaw. But I had to cancel that. Anyway, let's get back into it. Let's do that. Also, it is the one-year anniversary of the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Yes, it is. Pretty exciting. I can't believe it's been a year already. It it it. I guess it does. It feel if it, it does feel like it's been a year, but it's just still. It's uh, I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know the right word to use, but it's been a hell of a lot of fun. I have had a hell of a lot of fun in this YouTube journey of mine. I've wanted to do it for a long time, and I finally just pulled the trigger and uh, started doing it. And it's uh, I, I, I've said this many times on the channel. My uh, anybody who's been you know some of my subs who've been following me for a while or watching, they know. I've said this many times, but this channel has been like therapy for me. It really has. I've had a hell of a lot of fun with it. Anyway, let's get back into it. Let's be careful. Also, <laughs> uh, there should be another video out today. <laughs> uh, I did a special thank you video. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, everybody who watches. Um, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, we had a we had a special guest, Funk Master E himself. I called him up. He was free. Yeah, he said a few things. He said some nice things. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, Funkmaster E did a video on I'm pretty sure it was Finn. Uh last year. Sometime. We need prairie alphas, not the prairie stalkers, but we do need these. Flatland. No, we need we need okay, we're in the wrong area. 
the stuff we need's up here. It's going to be a little bit higher level, I believe. Let's get this buzzard out of the way. He's buzzing around, making me nervous. Yeah, Funk Mastery stopped by. Quick little video. I was going to have him host this episode, <laughs> but it didn't. Funk Mastery, for anybody who's seen Funk Mastery, his, his energy, I don't think it would match the Hardcore Challenge. And honestly, I don't trust Funk Master E on a Hardcore Challenge. He can host Mountain or Finn or some other thing. This is too important. <laughs> and Funk Mastery, if you're watching, I, I know you understand, brother. Now, there was also, uh, we could have got Chaz the 80s guy. Chaz the 80, 80s guy was not available. That guy's always off doing something. But his energy is even higher. His He's got crazy energy. I don't think it would have worked either. <laughs> uh, we're going to go up this way. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so we're looking for flatland prowlers and the, uh, the alpha wolves. Let's kill. Let's just kill some stuff uh, on the way over because we're pretty damn close to uh, leveling up here. And if we can hit level 12, I'll feel real comfortable in the area. Well, I'll feel more comfortable in the area. Because I think level 10 is the highest the highest that the mobs get. And uh, uh, two levels above something to me is... Uh, I like our chances there. That was n unnecessary, that last <laughs> uh, thunderclap I did there. Yeah, so the stuff we need is going to be between levels 8 and 10, I'm pretty sure. It's a Monday. We're not allowed to use that. Only fist weapons. Only fist weapons. But we know where they are. We know where the fist weapons are. And we know how much they cost. And we... Boy... Let me see if I can sneak through here. We're going to go get one soon. We've already trained up. We have the skill. We just have to buy them. And uh, they are not as expensive as I thought. Like 20, between 20 and 26 silver, I think. Yeah, Dustin Moat, one of my subs, he also confirmed that for me. Yes, he did. I appreciate that, my man. This is a level 9. Should be okay here. But I want to pull him back this way because we have too many cats here. Too many kitty cats. And I don't want to thunderclap this guy. Boy, I don't like the, uh, the mobs so close, so tight in here like this. There's one. And these are the alphas. I just feel a hell of a lot better, though, being um, two levels above this stuff. There's a kitty cat coming. Anyway, we are going to be able to afford at least one of those weapons. Maybe this episode. If we get... Uh, I think it's 20, 26 silver. May, might, might be less than that. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to go get it. 
we are. Let's have a... Uh, boy, we don't have any more food in the bag. That's a little disconcerting. No, we do. We've got a couple of things here. All right. Let's, say, well, let's throw that and that. Got our battle shout gonna fall off here soonish. Oh my god. You're sneaky. Sneaky little devil, you. Throw a bandage on. Oh, I'm at a pretty chill mood. Yeah. I did a bunch of job searching today. Not much really happening here in my small little town, but uh, also looking, um, yeah, it's not better. You know, looking for some work from home type of things, you know, IT stuff, programming type of stuff. Just no luck yet. No luck yet. I was talking to the guys in the gym about it. The morning crew. We kind of touch base with each other, you know, when we're, we're all, when they're in there together. And uh, one of the guys, Johan, he's a good guy. He was saying, because uh, I was telling him, you know, I, I might, I'm probably just going to have to take whatever, uh, literally whatever I can find. Like, I'm, IT is my, that's my career, right? But, uh, you know, if you can't find what your specialty is, you've, you've got to do what you have to do. And I'm probably going to have to do whatever I have to do, which means working basically anywhere. I don't really care where it is. But, uh, yeah, there's a Harbor Freight. I don't know if you if anybody knows what that is. It's a big um, – they have a lot of tools and stuff. It's a pretty cool shop. But it's it's not too far from here. He was saying I should go up there and apply, and I might do it. Uh, we just hit level 12. Yes, we did. Where are we spending our talent points? I bet we put them... Oh, we have two. I didn't spend one last time. Good grief. I think I'm going to... We're going to do this. We're going to we're gonna need this shield, right? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, man. Can I, if I have a fist weapon here and a fist weapon here, that means I can't wear the shield, right? Yes, I think that's what it means. So this was a waste of a fucking talent point. <laughs> um, okay. Well, oh shit, I didn't mean to click that, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. I I wasn't trying to click this, but I just I just put a point in here. Uh well what is this? Increase our defense skill by two. I guess this is actually not bad. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put another point in here. We have a defense skill of four now. But I wanna get down here anyway. I wanna increase the value that we get from armor stuff. But yeah, I just that just occurred to me. Um I mean, it's not that big of a deal because we're going to be using the shield for a little bit anyway. Um, but I, I, yeah, that's, I did not think about that. I guess I was thinking that they were going to be like gloves <laughs> and that we could just use the shield, but they're not gloves. They're melee weapons, and you can't... Uh, it's like a two-handed sword, basically. It's going to take up that offhand. 
which kind of sucks. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, we got those. We just need the, the prairie, the alphas. Worst case scenario is uh, we'll just kind of grind it and grind it and grind it. And then um, I can respec somewhere down the road. And we'll take the point out of that. Yeah, I did not think about this. It's just one point. It's not that big of a deal. I gotta... This is a level 10. I gotta pay attention here. God, we got wolves and shit all around us. Okay. Uh, let me focus up here. Let's have a little... Uh, we'll have a bite to eat. And we'll see if we can get five more teeth. We'll go turn these quests in. And maybe we'll get a, a money reward. Got to watch out for um, respawns. Doing a lot of missing here. It's hard to build up rage when we're missing. This threatening growl is the worst for us. Literally the worst. There's another dodge. A little bit rough there. Level 10. A little bit rough. Well, let's roll up towards Red Rocks because we do need... There's a quest up there we can complete. And now that we're level 12, I've, I'm feeling a hell of a lot better about this place. We'd still be in big fucking trouble, though, if we pulled two. If we pulled two things, we would be in trouble. And I'm sorry I'm moving the camera all over the place. I know it's... Uh, when I'm watching somebody and they're doing this kind of shit, it makes I get like fucking dizzy and sick and shit. So I'm trying not to do it, but I'm also let me just do this. I'm, I'll just zoom out here. I just don't want something coming up behind me. <laughs> and ending the let's play. But boy, will we get that fist weapon? We could probably have enough right now. What is this quest reward? Does this reward money? It doesn't say. I hate it when it doesn't say what it rewards. But uh, between selling the stuff that we have um, and the silver that we have, we might we might be able to afford it. What are you doing? It is weird being way uh, zoomed way out like that, though. I'm hoping this practice sword sells for a decent amount. Also, I'm wondering with this shield, if this affects the rage that we generate. I'm still unclear on that. I've read two different things. One time I read that rage is generated when you are attacked. I've also read that you generate rage when you attack. I've read that it's both. I honestly, I'm so confused about that. I do not know for sure. It seems to be when we attack, though, because when we miss, with this, it just doesn't come up. It seems to be like we're generating rage as we're attacking. That makes the most sense to me, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I do know this drop rate is crap. Real fucking crap. Ours are better, but that's another thing that we can possibly sell. Let's see where... Oh, Red Rocks is right this way. Let's roll up here. I'm going to be careful in this area. That was There was stuff all over the place. Okay, let's... What do we got here? I'm going to get this out of the way. 
I'm going to clear a little area here. In case I need to run back. These buzzards make me nervous as hell. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Those buzzards. They probably have just like the same kind of path that these, uh, the wolves and the cougars have, but they just, because they're flying, I don't know, it gives me the illusion that they have like a much, a much crazier pathing that they do. Probably not the case, but I don't know. <laughs> just know it makes me nervous. Small egg. I've the only professions that I've allowed um, are uh, first aid. I'm pretty sure that's the only profession, same as it was. Actually, Brutus. I think Brutus. I allowed fishing and cooking. I could be wrong. I can't believe I can't remember. It's been it's been like a week. But I'm pretty sure first aid is all we're allowed to learn here. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I was thinking about food. But yeah. Uh, let me... What are the rules here? Let me pull up my warrior. Crap. It's right in the middle of the screen. Permadeath. Only fist weapons. First aid is the only... Yeah. No buffs at all. Except class or racial buffs. Which... I think one of the episodes, I was like, yeah, that's going to be like Thorns and Mark of the Wild, but we're not of Druid. I just, whenever I see a Tauren, it just, in my mind, it's like, oh, that's a Druid. It's like every time I do that. <laughs> so this is all we can have, really, is uh, the Battle Shout. We can't have any food buffs or anything like that. We also need these guys. Let's pick a couple of them off. And I've got a little place I can come to back here if we need to run out. Pull him back. I don't think these... Are these guys ranged? Uh, it don't, doesn't look like it. Some of them might be. We'll see. If we have any casters in here. No fair. You have a sword, sir. Got a muscle tear. Strength reduced by 10. Ouch. Now, these guys will probably run off. Yeah, and that actually helps us because he's hitting me pretty damn hard here. All right. We can get this quest completed as well. Let's heal up. Uh, do we have any linen? Oh, we do. Let's make all of this up. We need. I need a way to heal between food and bandages. can untrack this one. Anyway, I think I've got the kid the webcam sorted out finally. I'm loving the new webcam. It's got some pretty good detail on it. It's uh, it is better than the uh the other one I had. The other one wasn't bad, just this one is better. Um, this may be a little bit risky right there, but I don't want—I don't want this guy too close. Yeah, that's brutal. I don't shout; it's gonna fall off, but we're gonna save it. Hello there. I don't think we can. Yeah. We're wearing mail. And I think a warrior can wear plate whenever they pick it up, right? You don't have to train it. I just don't think we have any plate yet. 
I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Might be like a hunter. Like a hunter wears leather until level 40 and then they can, uh, you know, they can get the male specialization. I don't know if it's the same with the warrior where he can wear mail and then at level whatever he can wear plate specialization. I don't think that's a thing. I think they can just wear it. But I don't know. If we got any warrior pros out there, let me know in the comments. Bros. Or guys, gals. Robots. Aliens. Okay, we're getting this done. Let's, let's throw another bandage on. I'd rather pick on these level 9s. These are level 10s. I know we're level 12, but they hit... They hit a little bit. They hit hard. They have swords and stuff. I'm also a little bit worried about a possible respawns in here, so we're gonna we're gonna bring these guys back. Try to play it a little safe. I think as long as their bodies are still on the ground, they you know they're not gonna respawn. It's when the bodies disappear, they're just like, okay, I just have like a got a few minutes before they they pop back up. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. That's interesting. He was running this way, and we used uh, War Stomp and dazed him, and he run out, He ran off another way. That was happening with um, some other stuff we were working on, and there's also the quest up here. We got three there. Level 10, level 10. This is the level 9. Let's bully a level 9. Yeah, the level nines are much easier. I'm watching you, bird. I'm watching you. There's another level nine. Anyway, I was thinking about, um, I was messing around on YouTube last night, you know, and, uh, you know how that is, you go down the rabbit hole of YouTube and you end up like watching, like you totally didn't start off watching zebras wearing tuxedos, but that's what you ended up on. That's not what I was watching, but... I was watching this guy. He was playing this game. It looked like a really cheesy looking game, but it also it looked like a hell of a lot of fun. I think it was called Swamp Attack or something. It reminded me a little bit of... Um, you guys remember Plants and Zombies? I think that's what that game was called. I actually liked that game a lot. It's an old, old game. There's probably many, many variations of it now, but it reminded me of that. It was just like this redneck guy sitting on a porch in a swamp, and he just had to kill. He had waves of mobs coming up, and he had like a shotgun. It looked pretty interesting. I was thinking about doing something silly like that. I've had that idea, or I've, I've tried to do that with Hearthstone, but it's just, uh, I don't know. And I've recorded, I've probably recorded five or six episodes on Hearthstone and just never posted them. I mean, I think I have one up on the channel, maybe two. It's just, the thing about that game is if you've never played it before, there's so much to it. The, the, the cards, the, the cards are so detailed and trying to explain it from a very basic starting point of view it's a little bit difficult oh my god he needs to run off here i don't i don't like how close this is go ahead and run okay good hello there uh let's sit down and eat real quick and let's look at what we got 
Oh, man, it's the exact same. It's okay, we can sell it. We also picked up a gun. Can't use that, but we can sell it. Okay, that quest is complete. I would like to go do this. We're doing on time. We're only half an hour in. Let me see if we can get this done. They're just... They seem to be even t more tightly packed here. Come back here, man. Come on. Okay. Yeah, he needs to be back here. It, depending on how tightly packed in here they are, I may or may not do this. But I don't I don't want to take chances. I mean I'd like to get the quest done, it's right there. Okay. It's like, yes, please don't run that way. Yeah, there's quite a few of them in there. That's a level nine. Let's get him out of the way. He resisted that, which kind of sucks. You should come way back here. So I think what I can do, uh, if they run, I mean, they will, but if they run this way, I can war stomp and potentially change his direction. If he runs this way, if he runs this way, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Also, Thunderclap helps us a little bit when they run off like that. Patchwork Bracers? Nah. We don't have any slot. I think we have one slot left here. Man, I don't like this. These guys are way too close. Let me see if I can pull these out one at a time here. We'll just be very careful here. Watch out for respawns over there. Also, watch out behind me. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. that was no, that was... He does change directions, though. That's interesting to note. So if you're ever in a tough situation and a mob is potentially going to run off towards other mobs, if you have any way to to do, to interrupt them or kick them, it it looks like it does. It's confirmed. It does change their direction, which is I didn't actually realize that. Oh my God. Okay, I think we're. I, I feel okay. I, I feel okay in here, but I do want him to come down this way a little bit. Muscle tear. Ouch. See some stuff spawning back over here. You guys ever tear a muscle? My god, it sucks, man. It's... Fuck, my thing's on CD. Okay, good. I didn't play that very well. Um, Let's just patch up here. See if we can work our way in here. It's basically these two, well, three. There's three mobs. I can just pull them one at a time like this, and I think we're okay. We've been dodged quite a few fucking times here. I'm saving. Oh man! No 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 no! Hit him! Hit him! Oh my god! He had a he got a big hit there at the end. I don't know if you guys saw that. Fucking hell! All right, eat this. Level ten. That's a level nine. I think we can kill this guy and maybe pull him, and I think we can get in there, and then we're gonna get the hell. Out of here. I need you to come over here. I gotta watch out for this stuff down here. It's gonna, yeah, it's already respawning. I 
I've got War Stomp up, and I'm not afraid to use it. I cannot have him run it off. Fucking hell. No. Come on. Okay. Good grief. Bandage. Also, I don't know actually what happens here. I really, really hope this isn't... something like where something spawns. I'm glad I didn't charge in there because I didn't even see this guy over here. I didn't even see that guy. Right there. This guy right here. Didn't see him at all. I am, I'm terrified that these things are going to spawn behind me. Like this guy. This guy's already back. Get him. Get him. Get him. All right, let's talk to this guy. Man, I really hope nothing happens here. Complete the quest. Accept, accept it. Okay, Thunder Bluff. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. We'll finish getting the wolves. I'm not in combat. Well, we'll try to finish getting the wolves. Fuck, I thought I had another wolf. <laughs> I'm so nervous, man. I'm so nervous about blowing it and dying again. This challenge is just so brutal. Punching mobs. <laughs> it is a lot of fun, though. It is a lot of fun. No fucking teeth. All right, you know what I'm tempted to do right now? Let's hearth back. Wait, wait. Uh, we're actually closer to Thunder Bluff. Let's go back to Thunder Bluff because that's I j this is where we turn this quest in. Let's go turn it into Thunder Bluff. Oh, this guy. I forgot about this guy. But we do have to see somebody in Thunder Bluff. And we will. But I'm hoping for some silver reward. Oh. How? Where? Yes. Well done. You have sent those foul bristlebacks a clear message. They will think twice before attempting to meddle in this holy spot again. Well, I got news for you, brother. They're still there. I did the best I could, though. We shall meet there we go. Again. That's two and a half silver. We'll take it. We might right now be able to afford uh, one of the fist weapons. And I want it. But uh, what we're going to do first, we're gonna, where we're going to get this guy out of the way. We're going to fight our way across. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the, the other four teeth that we need uh, before we get the Thunder Bluff. But... So we can just fly. We'll fly to Ogremar. It's a quick flight. And we'll get that damn fist weapon because we're also going to have to level it up. Now it's not going to—it's not like it's going to take forever to do. I think uh, what are we level twelve? So that's what sixty. We just have to get up to sixty points on it. That won't take long at all. I don't like these overlapping uh, pat, uh, paths, paths, whatever. And I definitely don't want to thunderclap that guy. Where'd that fucking buzzard go? He's over there. So I know. Sorry for spinning the camera. I uh, it's, it actually makes me kind of sick when I do it. I need to see what the hell's around me. I really do. Yeah, this is like fuck. This is a shit drop rate, man. On this, on these teeth, it's they're terrible. All right, you know what, buzzard, you've got to go, my friend. You've got to go. Right, I'm gonna zoom way out here. 
so I can see shit like this creeping up on me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm a little panicky. <laughs> Look at these mobs, man. Fucking hell. Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here, but I, I want this. Let's get this guy. It's a little deceptive when you're zoomed way out as far as how close a mob is. It feels like it's it's closer to you than it is. It's That's how it is for me, for some reason. Have a teeth, a tooth, man. Give me a fucking tooth, bro. Got one. All right, you just have to ask them for it, apparently. What we got here? Level 10. All right, let me let my health tick up a little bit here. I hate watching my rage tick away. I also, I dislike... When I charge in and I start to punch, if I sh put up Battle Shout, he stops. He stops the punch and it takes up an attack. I, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, there's a kitty cat right there. But it's definitely a thing. I need one of your teeth, sir. You've got a mouthful of teeth. I just need one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two more. Let's go this way. Got some buzzard action happening here. What level are you? Level nine. Kitty cat there, kitty cat there. This is what I'm worried about, is this bird. Tooth, sir, please give me your tooth. I need a tooth. Yes! <laughs> Just have to ask them for it, and they hand it right over. Well, I don't think they're handing it over. All right, just one more, and that's like three or four quests complete. We're we are also out of bag space. I see you. I see you back there. Don't don't want a cracked bill. No need for a cracked bill. All right, let's see if we could just get this last prairie wolf alpha uh, tooth. If we don't get it, it's not a big deal. It's really not. What I want to do is get that fist weapon. <laughs> I don't think the wolves up this way are the alphas. There is an alpha right there. It's a level 10. We're almost a level 13. Get some nice XP here. A lot of stuff in the area. I don't think Battle Shout will aggro stuff, right? Just increases attack power of party members, yeah. I, I think we're safe with Battle Shout. I don't think it aggros mobs. Obviously, Thundercrap. Anything that does damage, obviously. Like Thunderclap will. We got alphas here. We have a couple of them. Let me have your tooth, sir. I just need the one. I just need the one. Yes! Yes, bros. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's make like a tree and leave. Remember Biff from Back to the Future? Why don't you make like a tree? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. That movie is so corny, but 
It's got some pretty funny part. One of my favorite parts of that movie, Back to the Future, the first one. I'm not. I'm not into sequels and shit. I don't know if they were good or not, but ah, uh, what was the character's name? Um, I can't remember the character's name. He's the he he's, he gets bullied by Biff. Um. I love that actor by Crispin Glover is the actor's name. That guy, he's very he's a very odd individual, but I I I've seen him in some pretty dark shit. Um but, but anyway, one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> I can't remember what's happening, but he's got he's like in this mood and he goes into the uh like the ice cream shop, right? And he goes up to the, the bar or the counter and he's like, Harry, give me a milk. And Harry goes to start making the milk and then he goes, make it a chocolate. And then Harry, like he does a double take. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, it's a play on like an old Western saloon where somebody would ask for a whiskey, but he asked for a chocolate milk. You guys are like, yeah, we get it. Yeah, we, we get it. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was funny. Hello there, little prairie dog. I don't want to stomp on you. Anyway, let's do this. We'll go turn this quest in. This goes to Blood Hill Village. What's the one? That goes to Razor Hill. This goes to Thunder Bluff. Probably going to be on Hunter's Rise. Yes, it is. Hunter's Rise. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to jump on the bird. Going to go get the fist weapon, and then we can hearth back. We are going to finish the quests here in Mulgore. I'm going to try to do all of the quests here because we're in no hurry to go anywhere else. We're going to miss this. And we're going to miss this one. I'm not going to make it. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. We'll wait for this one. Looks like the dark, uh, the dark uh, moon fair. They've packed up and Moved on. Hunter's Rise. Right over here. We'll go to the right. Sell everything in the bags. With the exception of the linen cloth. It would suck to fall off of the lift on a hardcore challenge. It would suck. Hello, what do you have, my friend? What brings you here? Collect six azure feathers and six bronze feathers and bring them to Ian or Ian. Okay. Well, that is an upgraded shield. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. These are the uh, the harpies. We shall meet again. We shall meet again, brother. Let's do a little. Here's the weapon master. And weapons merchant. You wish to speak? I wish to sell all of my stuff. So this is what we're gonna do. Do I want to do that? No, we'll just sell it. We'll just sell that. I'm gonna. I can't do anything with that. So sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. I do believe we have enough money for the stuff that we want. Yes. Sell the gun. All right. These go up here. This goes here. These are quest items. Just do a little repair. Let me just make sure she does not have the fist weapons. She doesn't. She has, like, everything else. Winds be at your back. Okay. And let me just confirm. You here? Um, fist weapons. Ogremar. Valley of Honor. All right. Let's go turn this quest in. And then we'll take a fly over to Ogre Mart. It's not that far. This is exciting. We can finally be effective. As much fun as it is punching mobs while we get hit with swords, as much fun as that is, I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to have a weapon. Mm -hmm. I see the gentleman over here behind the tree. There's a PvP quest there. Not going to be messing with PvP stuff. <laughs> Not that we ever do. Uh, I've been 
expecting you. Greetings, there is an air about you that tells me much. Do we have business, you and I? I have some things for you, brother. Scorn White Cloud is a wise Tauren. He has hunted for years and years, and although his body is old, his spirit burns fiercely. We are honored to have him with us. If Scorn sent you to me, then you too must have the hunter spirit. And to have gathered these claws shows your burgeoning skills. No way I said that word right. Perhaps you're ready to walk the path. Perhaps. Okay. No, just XP. No money. No worries. It's fine. I don't even like money. Let's do it. Let's roll. Let's roll. What's going on, brothers? Frost Wolf. What do you oh, mean? Uh, War Song Emissary. I don't need anything, my friend. I just wanted to talk to you. That's all. Just check in with you. Yes, let's get this done. Also, level 12, we can see the trainer, but right now, Hail. all I'm worried about is this. That's all we're worried about. So we'll just grind up a bit more. I think we are going to have to lose the shield, though. It's unfortunate that I, that I chose the talents the way I did. Um, I just didn't think about... The shield. I mean, when I picked this, it, I, it was in my mind, but I, again, I got it confused with, uh, with gloves. <laughs> They're not gloves. So anyway, not, not a huge, huge deal, but this, we should be at six defense skill instead of that. But anyway, I do want to get this and then I don't, maybe uh, maybe some of this other stuff will come in handy as well. Or in all of this, we're not going to be able to use. In fact, we'll probably disarm. Now, that actually would come in handy. Um, yeah, I that would come in handy to disarm somebody. We'll look. We'll look and see where we want to go. I think we're going to go here, too. But I, I'm pretty sure that fist weapons are going to count as melee weapons. I was unsure about that, but surely they're going to be melee weapons. So we're, we're going to be probably specking a lot in arms as well. I like the bleed abilities. I also don't mind the parry chance. And heroic strike, yep. Yeah. I don't even really understand how defense rating works very well because I've never, I'm not, I'm more of a ranged class player. I don't, like I can't, I, I and it doesn't say anything about it here. At least I don't know how to see it. Um, but I see it here. Defense. Yeah, I don't, like I don't know what that's. Increase your defense skill. I don't know. Maybe somebody on the channel can explain it to me how this... Like, if this is maxed out, how does this... Is this the same thing? This defense here, here and this? I don't know. Maybe this helps us, like, dodge or something? I have no idea. So, but I don't mind that we've gone here because, again, I, I, I want to get this. And we're going to put... We're going to put five points in here. Providing we live that long. <laughs> Who knows? All right, we're going to run to the back. Oh, my. A little bit of a yawn there. Uh, 
lovely. We're not going to run off because I don't know if I'll die. <laughs> I don't want to die jumping off of the tower trying to get to the bottom. I think we survive, but whatever. Not many people in Ogremar. Or Grimar. There's a the cooking trainer. Right in there. I am the only... Well, let's do this. Let's do it this way. We have two people in Ogremar. <laughs> How many people on the server? 17 people on the server. And we're playing on, uh, what, like Obsidian Edge, the hardcore server. It's really, really dropped off. People are, I th people have been over it. Again, doesn't really, you know, because of my play style, it's not really a big thing for me. It does suck, you know, not being able to get into a dungeon and if you're a pvp for person it sucks ass because you just never get into a the queue never pops for pvp that's one of the reasons why you guys uh why guns isn't he's not really a thing anymore so it, that could literally not get into a battleground like waiting hours just wouldn't happen all right <laughs> Uh, no, we've already done that. You. Speak, friend. Do you have what I need? Yes. Yes, we have right and left-handed. So that's the offhand, which would take the place of our shield. So we want this one. And we can afford it. I got some... Look at this other stuff, too. At level 20, we can upgrade. What do these look like? Look at that. That's like Wolverine shit right there. These are like brass knuckles. Done. Strength. Strength and honor, my friend. Yes. Yes. Brass knuckles equipped. Hell yeah. All right, let's hearth back. We'll hearth back and we'll turn in at least one quest. Might be two. This goes, that's over. Yeah, it's just the one for now. There's still a lot of stuff we can do in here. And it's it's all yellow, too, which is surprising. Greetings. Hello there. Do you have the teeth I asked for? Yes, I do. Very good, black man. I can feel the sacrifice of the land in this offering, and my spirit swells with sadness and pride. Level 13. The totem is made. Uh, let's see what this is. Wild man main cleansing. Your cleansing of the winter hoof and thunderhorn wells is spoken among the spirits, young black bane. Uh, the wild main totem is made and your last task lies ahead. The wild main water well lies north of Thunder Bluff. Perform the ritual, heal the land of the goblin's poisons. Let clean water flow once again. All right. Can't use this stuff, but we can sell it. Walk with the earth, mother. I'll walk with the earth, mother, my friend. All right, let's go see the uh, well, warrior trainers over here. Let's go see what we get. See if we can afford anything. Uh, we actually can. Well, we can pick up that rend now. I'm pretty sure. Let's check in with Krang. Krang, what's up, rubber? Well met. Not sure what word that was I was just using there. Yes, we can get this. It does cost a silver, but what else do we have? Can't afford that yet, so I think I want the bleed, right? Oh, hamstring is going to come in. This is going to be super handy as well, keeping stuff from running away. Super effective. It's two silver, so let me, let me, we have seven silver. So I want the rend. 
Oh, rend rank two. That's six silver, dude. Okay. Uh, heroic strike. I can't afford that. All right, I have to make a choice between hamstring. I love the idea of hamstring, but we're not we're not going to get this right now. I'm going to focus on DPS stuff just because we have war stomp and it does allow me to uh, slow somebody down. Rank two. What does that Ren do that we just got? Farewell. Oh, I'm not finished yet, brother, but I'm just trying to check some. 15 damage over 9 seconds. It's not me, I aid you. It's not a lot, right? This is 28. Almost double over 12 seconds. I like the idea of putting a bleed up on something, and it doesn't cost a whole lot of rage. This costs 15. It does 21 damage. Oh, do we have a heroic strike already? Why is this rank 2? Um, let me uh, fucking make a choice here. I think could also, oh, I can't afford overpower. I can't afford that. Blood rage. This wouldn't be bad. Okay, it's going to be... I'm going to do rend rank two. Done. We can't afford anything else. Be careful. And we are flat broke. Yes, we are. Anyway... This is going on the bar. Um, I got to change up my. I got to change up my bars a little bit here. Heroic strike. As a matter of fact, let me put this down here for a second. Okay. Uh, what bar is this? It's bar six. Let's expand this by two buttons. I'm a button clicker. It's what I do. And let's adjust it. That feels pretty good right there. Lock it. Okay, so we open up with charge. Probably to battle shout, to rend. We've got Heroic Strike, and we've got this, and then I'm going to put my Thunderclap right there, and this is our food. Okay. Feels pretty good. We are going to call it here, and we will get this weapon skill leveled up. Yep, we might have to slug at some lower-level mobs for a bit till we get the skill up. I think it's going to be, uh, what is it going to be, 65 now, I think. Anyway, it feels good now that we have it will be much more effective once we get the skill up anyway. Thanks very much for hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Black Mane and myself will catch you in the next one. Good journey. Good journey. Take care and peace.